Many thanks for staying here on Joy News today. In business, concerns of Ghana losing revenue from crude production on the Trinibua, Enyera, and in Tome 10 fields are being allayed. The Ghana Revenue Authority says it has put in place the necessary infrastructure to ensure the state gets the required revenue from the country's oil fields. Commissioner General George Blankson says there is no cause for alarm. In an interview with Joy Business, he said the FPSO John Atamills has addressed this revenue leakage. With the fiscal monitoring of the of exports, and which form the basis for calculation of tax, we have uh, some. We have electronic seals on all the meters and also the valves through which we have the product flowing into the export vessels. And for that reason, we also have. 24-hour uh, presence on the vessel, on the FPSO here, and this, the young man who is here 24 hours, of course we keep changing him, after a few days he will go, we bring in another person, but we ensure that we have 24-hour presence on this vessel to monitor production and exports, and therefore to secure the taxes that are due on the how products. are you able to independently verify every liter of volume that goes out of this vessel? As I have indicated, we have electronic seals on the valves through which the product flows. At various points, we have all these seals. So every drop of oil that goes into the, 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 the valves, goes through the valves, will be registered. And even from the head office, we, on the screen, we can monitor 0 0.001 of a liter has gone into the, the export pipes that go into the export vessels. This is the kind of system we have. So we are constantly monitoring how much oil flows out for exports. The World Bank says it expects the GDP contribution of IT-related services to rise from 1.5 to 2.5 percent following the inauguration of the Accra Digital Center. The $8.3 million project financed by the World Bank and the Rockefeller Foundation is to develop robust IT-enabled services and create jobs for about 10,000 youth. Here's more. The Digital Center is a collection of 12 old warehouses of the Public Works Department which have been renovated into world-class office buildings. It forms part of plans being developed to boost the innovation of the digital system here in Ghana. Speaking at the inauguration, Country Director of the World Bank, Henry Kirali, explained how the country can leverage information communication technology to attain economic growth. Business process outsourcing offers tremendous opportunity for Ghana and for Ghanaians to develop a robust IT-enabled services industry, create jobs, particularly for the youth, for women, for disadvantaged communities, and thereby generate export revenue and provide better services for domestic industries. Your Excellency, as you have seen, the Accra Digital Center provides grade A real estate facilities for IT-enabled services and business process outsourcing. It is therefore the first state-of-the-art ICT park in Accra. With this digital IT center, we expect up to 10,000 jobs to be generated, but the impacts will go beyond Accra. President Mahama officially opened the facility at a ceremony in Accra, but exactly how would businesses benefit from this center? Communications Minister Edward Omanibuama explained. Mr. President, here at the BPO Center, the needs of businesses that have many processes outside of their core making components, such as payroll, expense reimbursement, call center support services, including medical transcription services and technology support will find lasting solutions to their needs. We know businesses find these processes 
as both time consuming and cumbersome. This BPO center is here to serve your needs. So companies, local and foreign, be of good cheer. The Accra Digital Center has come to serve you. This center is open to all, including foreign companies, and we are impressed and encouraged by the number of companies eagerly waiting to be signed on as tenants to commence business here. The digital center is said to be the largest digital park in West Africa. That's it for business news.